Hi everybody, welcome to a new and exciting tutorial from FreeCAD. Today we're going to make a house like this. The house is going to have a roof, it's going to have a door, two doors. Uh, we're going to cut the inside out. Let's begin. First step, new document, part design. and new sketch. Before we begin, I want to introduce to you something called grid snap. Grid snap is when you draw, it'll snap to the grid, as you can see here. The grid size is 10 mil, so just put that if it's not there already. And let's begin. And also show grid is checked. Also, under edit controls. If you don't see edit controls, you might have to click it to drop it down. Auto constraints is set. That means that it'll try to create constraints as you draw. So I'm just going to keep that checked as well. Step one. Let's make a triangle. From, let's select a polyline. Click, click, click and connect. Drag one of them. Okay, it's all connected. Control Z. That's a little trick just to see if everything is connected. Sometimes you miss a point and when you drag it it's not connected. It's There's a segment that's kind of broken and to fix that let me show you what that looks like if you do that. If you made a triangle like that Sometimes it's like barely there. Oops. Not just connect it. But if that if that's like that, you have to select just drag a box. So both points are selected and they turn green. And then select not the point for drawing, but the coincident point which connects the, the two points together. That will help fix any broken connections. And see this is an auto constraint. It's trying to like create that for you. I'm just gonna click it and press delete. I don't need it right now. Alright, next step is we're going to make this line 150. So click that line, diagonal arrow on the constraint, the thick red tools, 150, enter. And now we're gonna make this angle 45. So I'll click this one and then that one. And this button here, it's the ang fix the angle c constraint. Click that, type 45, enter. And same with this. Click this, this. Same thing, 45, enter. So now you have a constrained triangle. 45 degrees on both corners and 150 millimeters wide in the base. And I started on the, uh, the origin of the X and Y axis. If your triangle is not on the axis, you can just highlight one point as well as the origin point, like just draw a box around it and select the coincident and it'll snap it to it. Great. Press close. Triangle. Now let's pad it. There's two ways to pad something to make it 3D. You can press this button, pad a selected sketch, or you can do tasks pad. Either one's fine. I'm going to select this, rotate, and I'm going to make it 150 to make it uh, symmetrical. So 150 deep and 150 wide. Press OK. Next, let's make a the house part. So click on this bottom part of the triangle and select sketch, new sketch. This will create a, a sketch on this plane. It kind of rotates so that you can see it. Let's zoom in and rectangle. Hover over the origin, drag it as much as, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, just try your best. Right click to deselect the tool and let's make this 150. Click here, diagonal, 150. And just make sure this is 150, click that line, 
and it's 150. You can also drag these down if they're in the way. You can drag this over. All right, when it shows green, that means it's fully constrained. That means there's no broken parts. If you see any parts here where it, under the solver messages, if it's hidden, you might have to click on the title to drop it down. If there's a blue link here, click the link. It'll highlight anything that's problematic in green. Select that part and delete it. That's how you get rid of unnecessary constraints that will possibly break your model. Great, press close. Let's rotate it down. Now let's pad it. Pad. And then under the length, 150. Enter. What enter does is it just confirms it. Next, scroll wheel to zoom out. Left mouse button to rotate. Uh, if your model is just somewhere else that it shouldn't be, like over here, you can just right click anywhere and fit all. That'll center it so that when you rotate it, it'll have a clean rotation. Next, let's make the walls. Click the bottom of the rectangle. <coughs> New sketch. Rectangle. Zoom in a little bit. And click. See that, that first, I'm going to start right, right here. So we're going to make the walls 10, mil, 10 millimeters thick. Click there, and then right there. If, if it doesn't snap to the right one, you just drag the point over so it snaps. So now I have the, uh, the walls all set. It's all snapped to the right place. See how it kind of snaps? And let's close. To finish off the walls, uh, so select the sketch if it's not already selected. And now we're going to do, instead of pad, which makes a 3D object, we're going to cut a hole in it. It's called a pocket. And you have a bunch of different options. You can do the same as a pad. You can make it, you can make 150 to go through all of that box. Or there is an option here where it says through all. That'll just kind of go through everything. But the problem is it goes through everything, like it, through other parts. So we don't want that. So let's just not do that dimension. Let's click to first. That will go through the box, but it still isn't what we want. So let's just up to face. Let's try that. Now nah, let's just keep it simple. Dimension and do 150 because we know that that box is 150 tall. But I just want to show you the different options there. You can reverse it if you want to go the other direction. Anyway, enter. And there it is. It cut through the box. To make a door, click on the side. Sketch, you get the idea. Oh. And it's upside down. Let's close it. Let's rotate this thing. I'm going to make the door right here. Click that. Let's try it again. Let's delete that sketch. Click that side. By the way, delete key on. Oop. The delete key on the keyboard will delete things. So let's try it again. Oh, hold on. All right. Sometimes you, when you undo things, it messes up. All right. Click the side. Sketch. So what happened to me was it was kind of rotated too much one direction, so it flipped it all, and I just had to re-rotate it and try it again. All right. Rectangle. If you want to be perfect, you can even count the boxes, but you can always move it. So I'm just going to start you know, here, there, right click to deselect. All right, looks pretty good. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's, there's an odd number of boxes, I think. Five, no, five and five. Okay, so five on each side. Again, this is. You can put the door however you want, however big you want it. Notice that when I grab the points, it snaps to the grid. The lines do not. Oh, I guess they do. Anyway, there's a big old door. Press close. Let's pad it again. I'm sorry, pocket. 
So make sure that that uh, sketch is selected. I'm just going to hide this because it's in my way. And pocket. <clears throat> now this one, all I'm going to do 10 because the walls are 10. Enter. And there, oh, it didn't cut through all of it. Let's go back to the sketch. Let's hide, let's hide the, hide the pocket. I'll put the sketch. Let's see what's going on. It's gonna make sure it's snapped. Try it again. Pocket, spacebar. Um, all right, let me just make the sketch a little bit. Double click the sketch and just drag it down a little bit to here. Close. There we go. Not quite sure why that did that, but that's how you fix it. All right, now the doorway's done, and let's. It's getting kind of crazy right now. So, see how it kind of hides everything? Because it's making everything within this. Uh, this group. We'll talk about groups later, but that's pretty much it. So if you have any more time, you can make the door a different size, you can make a round top if you want, you could try to make windows anywhere you want, any kind of shape. You can make a ground, trees, whatever you want. So try that. And that's how you make a simple house in FreeCAD.